Welcome back to World Drum Club. I got seven weird whistles, and I need your help in voting for which one is the weirdest or your favorite one. All right, let's get right to it. This first one over here, I don't even know what this is called. Uh, it looks like this. It's got an open end over here and a mouthpiece on this side, and I'm assuming. And here's what it sounds like. That's enough of that. That's number one. Wait till you hear all of them before you vote. Okay, this one looks like this. It's symmetrical and it's got a little uh, gap in between these two pieces. And I guess you play it like this. <laughs> That's number two. Stay there, number two. All right. Number three has got a little rubber piece at the end with a tiny hole, and uh, it's this shape. That sounds like this. All right, number three, very high pitched. Number four is really interesting. This is actually a nose whistle. That's right. So you play it, you blow out of your nose and the air goes down out of your nose across your mouth. And this plate here is to seal off and then you open and close your mouth and it changes the pitch. Now I'm not an expert nose whistle aficionado. I'll do my best to demonstrate it, but here's what it sounds like. actually counterintuitive. You have to breathe out of your nose and then change the, the shape of your mouth. All right, so that's definitely in the weird category. Nose whistle. Let's move on. Now we're down to the second row. All right, this one, you guys have heard, I guarantee it. Uh, this is a duck call. That's number five. All right, this one, you've heard in cartoons all over the place. This is an Acme Siren and very durable, metal. Last two are made of metal. All right, here's the Acme Siren. See if you can remember where you've seen this in a cartoon maybe. I want to show you the inside of this because uh, it's interesting. So this is a just a shell basically. This is the resonator. And then inside is a little, I'll get some close-ups of this later, but inside is like a little turbine uh, and it, it has five, six, six little holes and it just spins around. And this part enables it to resonate a little bit more. Pretty funny sound though, right? Number six. All right, and finally, I'm gonna play this one first and then I'll tell you about it. All right, this one sounds like this. All right, this is called a nightingale call and it's actually also ACME, A-C-M-E. Uh, this is a professional whistle, sound effect whistle. You sometimes need these in orchestral pieces uh, I know there's some orchestral pieces, symphonic pieces of music that call for nightingale whistle. You've probably heard this in sound effects, but this is interesting because this container is actually filled up with water, and then there's an adjustment up here. I guess you can, you know, dial it in. Uh, and then there's a little hole here, whistle, but the air shoots down and it kind of bubbles up like a straw. There's an there's a effect where you push the water and it changes the height of the water, it changes the pitch, and it does that where it releases the pressure, goes up, and it 
makes a sound, and then it, it's just changing the pressure inside here. Um, you can look up more about how this works, but you fill it up a little bit with water, not completely full, but there's some water in here. All right, so Nightingale Call, super interesting. All right, so here's what you need to do is comment below and tell me which one is your favorite one or you think is the weirdest one and why, and then we're gonna see who the winner is. Super important that you vote right now. <laughs> All right, thanks for watching everyone. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, give it a thumbs up, subscribe, hit the bell, and visit us at patreon.com if you like the World Drum Club content. I'm Kalani Das. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in a future video. Comment now.